Hey guys, uh, Mike Mel PD here. Uh, this isn't, uh, I'm not doing a poem for this video or anything, but I decided to do a video just to like tell you guys a little bit about myself, people who are following me on Tumblr, and who are maybe going to be like checking out some of my stuff on YouTube. Um, I did my first video for the story of Jack Warner, probably the first poem I ever wrote for like one of my high school slams. And I know kind of like on my Tumblr, uh, my blog in general is kind of, you know, messy. It's not, it was, I was once trying to start doing it up as straight poetry, but I kind of got a little discouraged since people didn't seem to be really like reading or commenting on my work. Cause I know, uh, when I post like, especially the story of Jack Warner, that poem was about five pages long. So I'm sure people were like, fuck reading, <laughs> fuck that see you later. Bye bye. So, <laughs> probably maybe like skimmed over it. That's like why I wanted to do these videos too, was to really, really give a sense of uh, what I kind of do with my work, besides, you know, writing it down on a page so I get it down. Um, I also just wanted to say like, you know, for a while, uh, I didn't even believe in myself as a writer that much. Uh, I didn't think I was really that good. And that's why I think at first when I started going to college, I was doing education because I figured, you know what, I'm not going to make it as a writer or do anything that well with poetry, so I'm just going to teach and, you know, motivate kids to do their own kind of thing. But throughout the years as I've been performing and starting Seeds of Poetry last year with my friends and, uh, you know, performing even at like Rockland High School nearby and stuff like that, I just kind of started to realize, you know, people, they, they like what I do, and I, I seem to be able to connect with people in a way. I mean, I might not like own work, but people out there are like, you know, you know, Mike, or my, my nickname's Petey, so people would be like, Petey, you know, that really hit me, or like, I was almost crying back there, like, when you were doing this, or like, the story of Jack Warner, because literally at every open mic, people are like, Peter, can you do the story of Jack Warner? I love that poem. Please, please do that. And <laughs> I always end up doing it. And for some reason, it, it never gets old for them. And you know, it's you know, it's a great. It is a great feeling. It just that's what kind of reminds me that you know what, maybe I'm doing the right thing now. And especially uh, last night, I went out to Cambridge because the National Poetry Slam's here. Uh, it's going to be here all week until the finals on Saturday. So if you have time, go check it out. It's the poets are phenomenal. The teams are phenomenal. Even it's just a great experience because there's, you know, and there's open mics and music and individual slams and, oh, it's just, it's so much, it's so cool. And I was just watching these poets perform and everything, and it's like, uh, it's just like, I wanted to get up there. I wanted to, like, just bust out on stage and start doing stuff because it was just, the energy is unrivaled, I think, in, in almost anything, you know, especially with, like, music and, and art nowadays. Oh, that's just oh, it's phenomenal. And I, it's, that's when it really hit me again. It's like this is what you know. This is what I want to do. This is absolutely what I want to do for the rest of, with the rest of my life, and as hopefully a career is you know, is to perform and touch people, and you know, put give people I, ideas and just inspire people to you know to follow their dreams and stuff like that. Because just it was just it was a great. I'm just gonna say it was a great experience. So um. I'm also doing this video because I want to ask you guys out there, especially people who are writers and who are poets, if you have any ideas for me, or because I'm uh, sometimes, you know, for me, I have trouble writing and I sometimes even discourage myself from writing things down because I'm like, I don't want to write that. That's, that's going to be too depressing, or I don't want to write another poem about a girl or something like that, or this is just going to be shit. So, you know, because since everything pretty much for a lot of poets, they hate everything that they write and that, that is shit. But, you know, I just, I need your feedback. You know, so if you just go and comment on my video on YouTube or, or go on Tumblr and, and send me a message, because that's what's going to like, you know, that's what really is going to, you know, keep me going. And I'm going to try, you know, and write and more and more and more. And but I really need you guys, whether even if even if you don't fucking like it, even if you hate it, even if you're like, this is the, the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I would rather eat. Uh, let's see. What, what, would, what would you rather do? I would rather be fucking making out with my sister right now or something absolutely disgusting like that than, than watching this video here. At least then I'll be like, okay, you know, maybe I have to revamp this or, you know, pick a little bit of here. Like, I know a friend of mine was like, dude, you, you know, your poem was phenomenal, but on here it was hard to, you know, to hear you because you, you know, you're getting a little loud and everything, so enunciate a little more. 
so like I can take so if you guys do that I can take things like that and it will only like help me improve on my work make my videos better make them more entertaining so you know whether it, it's like I said you're telling me you hate my shit I really don't care I mean I'm gonna keep doing it anyways and trying but or if you're just saying you know or if you're just saying you know you really liked it you connect with it uh, you like this that and this but maybe you can try doing this that and this in the next piece or improving upon this piece and that's what I really need. So if you guys can do that, that'd be phenomenal. Especially my, you know, people that are starting to follow me now out there on Tumblr. Um, I'm kind of gonna just try and start, you know, fixing up my blog. I know that I, like I said, I kind of got off with my writing a little bit and started throwing random pictures of, you know, cute red pandas and all the bullshit up there. Cause I, I mean, come on, you can't, I can't resist cute red pandas. And I know it's hard for you people out there as well. Whether it's pandas or kittens or whatever, I know there's so much crap on Tumblr that it's 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 really hard to to bust out with art, especially when you have cute kittens and pandas, and then there's a meme or a gif of two people having sex. I mean, you can't. I, it's I, it's just there's there's things that are, are distracting, and, and you just please for my sake take a little time from people fucking and cute kittens and animals to check out my stuff uh, check out my tumblr check out my youtube videos and uh, if you have any questions for me too if you want to know more about me uh, I'd love to do some more videos go a little more in depth have some chats so hmm, hit me up that's all I gotta say tell me you hate me tell me you love my work tell me I'm so so whatever it's gonna help me out Take it easy, guys.